Let's take a few minutes here and talk about gross pay and calculating gross pay. Um, everybody knows when you go to work, you earn money. Uh, but did you realize or did you know that you really only get two-thirds of your paycheck? Yes, that's right, surprised young lady. You only get two-thirds of what you actually earn. It's been that way since the early 1900s when the federal government instituted the first permanent income tax. And it's definitely permanent. We still have it today. So let's, let's say you're a $50,000 a year employee. Sounds like a lot of money, doesn't it? However, you earn 50000 for the year, but you're really only taking home or having about $33,000 for yourself. The way you do that is roughly two-thirds is 66%. So 50000 multiplied by 66%, $33,000 is what your take-home pay is. Yes, surprised young guy. That's the way it is. And where does it go? Well, deductions. We're going to have to uncover those as we go here. So uh, a couple definitions that you need. Gross pay. It's the total amount of money you earn before any deductions are taken out. Net pay. That's the amount of your paycheck after deductions are taken out. We also call that your take-home pay. So we've used the word deductions twice. What are deductions? Any amount of money subtracted from your gross pay can, can, be, can be considered a deduction. Figuring regular pay is, is pretty simple. It's your overtime. It's, I'm sorry, it's your hourly rate times your regular work hours. Now by law, a regular work week for hourly employees is 40 hours. Anything 40 hours and less gets the hourly rate. But by law, Anything over 40 is considered overtime, and overtime is treated differently. By law, employers have to pay, pay employees time and a half uh, for overtime work. So to calculate somebody's overtime rate, you take their hourly rate and simply multiply it by 1 and 1 1.5. That's 1 and a half. Now to figure overtime pay, eh, that's pretty simple. You take the overtime rate that you figured above and multiply it by the overtime hours. You take your regular pay and add in the overtime pay. That'll give you gross pay. For salaried employees, it's a little different. If you get 50000 a year, what's going to be your paycheck? Well, it depends on the number of pay periods you have in a year. Obviously, for somebody that works uh, or only gets paid once a year annually, that's one pay period. For monthly pay, there's 12 months in a year, so that person is going to get paid 12 times in the year. A weekly paycheck means you're going to get paid 52 times in the year. Probably weekly and bi-weekly are probably the two most uh, popular pay periods. So bi-weekly means you're getting paid half of the weeks, so that's 26. And there are some people that get paid twice a month, which would be 24 pay periods in a year. Now, to calculate this, all you'll need to do is take your annual salary and divide it by the number of pay periods. So 
So now you know how to figure out gross pay for hourly employees and also for salaried employees. To put this together a little bit for you, here's the overall formula to figure out somebody's paycheck. You take your regular wages, which is again anything 40 hours or under, add in the overtime, add in any bonuses like a Christmas bonus, a performance bonus. You might be a salesperson, so you might need to add in commission, or you might be you might be a waiter or waitress and you have to add in all your tips. That gives you the gross pay. It would be nice if that's your paycheck, but that's not reality. Reality is you have deductions. There's mandatory deductions that must come out by law, and then there's voluntary deductions that the employee can elect to have deducted. Once you subtract out, subtract out those deductions, now you get your net pay. All right. Simple as that. I hope this helps.